Hey y'all, what's up? It's Liv. I'm back and I'm here to give you guys a tutorial on how I got this full Fenty beat. So first, I've already moisturized my face. I'm just starting out with the Fenty Beauty Primer. I found that the Fenty Beauty Primer makes the foundation work a lot better for my skin, especially when I'm having those dry patches in my T-zone, especially underneath my eyes. The Fenty Primer makes it, the foundation work a lot better. So now I'm going in with the foundation. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it and I'm in the shade 360. So I just pump it onto my face and then I started blending it out with this Sonia Kashuk sponge. You can get it at Target for $7. I love this sponge, but the consistency of this foundation is very watery. So the sponge was just soaking up a lot of the products. So you'll see that I ended up ditching the sponge and going with my foundation brush. Now for my normal to dry skin girls, make sure that before you use this foundation, if you choose to, make sure you are moisturized because this foundation will cling to your dry patches on your skin and just make your skin look patchy. So make sure you're good and moisturized before you start using this foundation. And now I'm just going back in with that sponge to make sure everything is nice and blended and even all over. So now I'm going in with the Fenty Concealer in the shade 340. The shade 360, which is my foundation shade, is already one shade lighter than my skin tone. But I like to go a couple of shades lighter than my skin tone when I highlight. So right here, I was looking at myself and I'm like, hmm, everything's coming into form. I'm liking it. So I put a little bit more concealer on some of the spots I put it before just to add a little bit more coverage. And then I'm blending that out. And then after that, I'll go with the bottom of the sponge where the foundation is just to make sure the edges are blended. And I'll go in with my brush as well to make sure everything is seamless and blended. So now I'm going to set the areas that I highlighted with the setting powder in the shade Banana. Um, first, I like to go in and blend out any creases that may have formed underneath my eyes, and then I put on the powder. A lot of people bake with their um, setting powder. I don't really do that because it just doesn't work for me. It seems like it, the powder just ends up in patches and I just don't like it. I just put it on and sweep it off. Sometimes I use a sponge. Sometimes I use a brush. Depends on how I feel. So now for the star of the show. Well, one of them. The new Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer. I am in the shade Caramel Cutie. Now, when I first put it on my face, I put a little too much dip on my chip. So I had to go to the other side and just make sure that I blended it out really well. Um, I do like this bronzer. I think that I will like it better once I get a different brush um, and just not go in with as much product as I did. But it all ended up turning out really pretty. I really did like it. From the other reviews that I've seen on this product, this product seems to be like a true bronzer. Like it's not meant to contour your face. It's meant to warm up your skin in those hollow areas and just give you that sun-kissed look. So that's why I didn't really use a lot. I just wanted to warm up my skin and not really contour. So 
so I just wanted to add a little moisture to my skin so I just went in with my setting spray and now I'm going in with the new kilowatt duo highlighter and afternoon snack in mo honey and I just mixed them together y'all this highlighter is so pretty oh my gosh it is one of my new favorite highlighters um and i will you will be able to see on my instagram i will link my instagram below but you'll be able to see how pretty the highlight looks in the sun oh my gosh it was gleaming i really like it and i 10 out of 10 recommend it. so go get it So for the eyes, I just wanted to keep it simple. I went in, um, I'm just blending the foundation that I had on my eyelids. And I went in with the bronzer and just put that, blended that in my crease. And then after I get that blended how I like it, I just took a shimmery gold eyeshadow um, on my finger and just blended that onto my eyelid. This tutorial is really about skin um, for the most part, but I wanted to keep it as mostly as fenty as possible. Um, so yeah, the bronzer is on the crease and then just whatever gold or shimmery eyeshadow you like, uh, you can put that on your lid. So here I'm just taking a black eyeliner and lining my waterline, my lower waterline. And then after that, I want to take the Kilowatt Duo highlighter in both colors and just place that into my tear duct. So off camera, I put a little bit of liquid liner on my top lash line and some lashes. I'm wiping off my lip moisturizer I put on before I started recording. And now for lips, I'm just putting on my favorite, or one of my favorite, brown lip liners. And then I'm going to go in with a Fenty Mademoiselle lipstick. It's in the shade Freckle Fiesta. It's an orange shade, and it's going to match what I'm going to be wearing today. I'm going to dinner with friends, and I'm just going to blend that out until I get it how I like it. Then I took a little of that Fenty highlighter on my Cupid's bow and went to get dressed. And that is the finished look. I hope you all like it. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below if there is any other content that you would like for me to put out. And I'm so glad that you all are watching. Thank y'all. See y'all next time.